dear learners previously we have studied the estimation of rcc slab and learned about bar bending schedule weight for meter length of bars how to calculate the length of the hooks and cranks etc here we shall study the estimation of column footing and beam let me read the problem statement for column footing the column 3 meter tall having a size 300 mm into 300 mm reinforced with the eight numbers of 16 mm tmt bars together with 8 mm diameter ties at 200 mm center to center footing size is 2 meter into 2 meter effective depth is equal to 500 mm at the face of the column tapered to 200 mm at the tip the footing reinforcement comprises of 12 mm tmt bars at 150 mm center to center both ways estimate the cost of the structure given unit price of concrete is rupees 15000 per meter cube and unit price of steel reinforcement is rupees 50000 per ton so the data shows so the column is a square in cross sectional shape that is square 300 by 300 the uh, clear height of the column above the footing is 3 meters note uh, the details in the sketch that the trapezoidal footing is provided the footing has totally two parts rectangular part and trapezoidal part the thickness of footing at the end edges is 200 mm total depth of footing that is measured at the face of the column is equal to 500 mm the sketch of cross sectional plan of column and sectional elevation of footing should be drawn to the details the column has eight numbers of 16 mm as main steel the clear cover for column is equal to 40 mm and footing is equal to 50 mm these are the standard covers assumed to begin with let us understand how to calculate the quantity of steel required for the column and footing i have shown here three tables table 1 is schedule of bars table 2 is the details of work and table 3 is abstract estimate i have also shown the specimen calculations here let us study the calculations firstly the length of the column vertical bar is equal to height of column 3 meter plus depth of footing 0.5 meter minus bottom clear cover for footing steel that is 50 mm minus diameter of footing steel in both directions that is 12 mm and 10 mm plus horizontal l bend amount is equal to 0.45 meter so total length of the column vertical bar it becomes 3.878 meters length of tie or stirrup is equal to 2 times a plus b plus 24 times diameter of tie where a and b are dimensions as shown in the sketch a is equal to horizontal part of the tie that is equal to width of column minus clear cover at both sides which becomes 300 minus 40 mm minus 40 mm which becomes 220 mm or 0.22 meter similarly small b b is equal to vertical part of the tie that is equal to breadth of the column minus clear cover at both sides so in, since it is a square cross sectional column the a and b are has the same values that is equal to 0.22 meter and the total length of tie becomes 1.072 meter now note that why is that 24 times diameter that is because the straight part of the stirrup or the tie after the hook is equal to 8 diameter and there are two hooks therefore 8 dia plus 8 dia and the extra length of 8 mm diameter bar for four corners of the tie at the rate of 2 diameter for each corner which becomes 8 dia thus totally 8 times dia 8 times dia plus 8 times dia is equal to 24 dia number of ties is is equal to vertical length of the column main steel divided by the spacing of ties 
plus 1 for end tie which becomes 18 numbers. Next is the length of footing steel that is equal to length of the footing that is 2 meter plus 2 times L bend at, at the ends minus 2 times the end cover that is uh, 50 mm each. So net length becomes 2.1 meter. Number of footing bars is equal to length of the footing minus 2 end cover divided by the spacing of main steel plus 1. This plus 1 is for end bar. Total number of footing bars becomes 14 for each side of the footing as the spacing in both directions are same and it is a square footing. Moving on to schedule of bars. There are three types of bars in the column and footing. Type 1 main vertical bar. Type 2 horizontal ties of column. Type 3 footing reinforcement. Note the diameter of and shape of these bars. Length and number of bars is calculated previously and copied here. Length multiplied by numbers gives the total length of that category. Each uh, diameter bars has its own standard weight per meter. For example, 16 mm diameter bar has weight per meter of 1.58 kilograms. The total length multiplied by weight per meter gives us total weight. Add the individual weights of bars and find the sum which works out to be 108.877 kilograms at the bottom. Add 5% for wastage and overlaps while which happens while cutting and fabrication and calculate the grand total which works out as 114.32 kilograms or 0.11432 tons. Moving on to detailed estimate. This table gives us the quantity of concrete for footing and column. The footing has two parts, bottom rectangular part and upper trapezoidal part. Length into breadth into depth gives us the volume of a rectangular part of footing. Prismatic rule is used to calculate the quantity of trapezoidal volume which is obtained by using the expression h by 6 into a1 plus a2 plus 4a mean where a1 is equal to area at the bottom of trapezium, a2 is equal to area at the top of the trapezium and h is equal to height of trapezoidal part of footing that is equal to 0.3 meter. Total footing quantity is equal to sum of rectangle part plus sum of trapezoidal part is equal to 0.8 plus 0.64 is equal to 1.44 meter cube. Quantity of steel for both column and footing is copied from the table of schedule of bars which is equal to 144.32 kilograms or 0.144 tons and quantity of column is equal to length into breadth into height. Clear length of the column above the footing is 3 meter which is multiplied by breadth and depth of uh, column 0.3 meter each and quantity of column becomes 0.27 meter cube. Now consider the abstract estimate. The quantities are copied from the detailed estimate table. Prevailing rates as per unit of each item is used or rates might be given in the question. The amount is equal to product of quantity of and rate. Individual costs are added. Total cost is calculated and to this add 3% for cost of contingencies and 2% cost for work charge establishment and find the grand total which works out to be rupees 32,917 only. Here the problem ends. Dear students, please raise your queries if any and you can use WhatsApp to raise the queries. Thanks and regards. Next, uh, let us take up a problem on estimate of RCC beam. Let me read the problem statement. 
A simply separated RCCB is to be provided over a clear span of 4 meter with the 0.23 meter bearing on the walls. The cross section has 230 into 450 mm. Estimate the cost and use prevailing rates. The reinforcement details are shown in the sketch. Main bars 16 mm diameter, two numbers. At bottom, extra bars 16 mm diameter, one number. At bottom, anchor bars 12 mm diameter, two numbers. At the top, stirrups 8 mm diameter at 180 mm center to center throughout the beam. Note that span is equal to 4 meter, bearing width is equal to 0.23 meter, size of beam is equal to 230 into 450, that is breadth into depth dimensions. You, you have to draw the sketch for the details mentioned in the problem. Note that the bars are relevant at, the, at their ends, both the longitudinal section and cross section to be drawn. Look at the calculation part which shows the determination of length and number of bars in the beams. Schedule of bars, quantity calculation and abstract estimation are given in the next slide. Extra bars are shown in the beam which are provided to take up the positive and negative bending moment which occurs at mid span and support sections of the beam. Stirrups are provided to take the shear force. Clear cover to the beam reinforcement is assumed as 25 mm. Length of all categories of bars are calculated. Assume clear cover to reinforcement is equal to 25 mm if not uh, mentioned in the problem. Length of bottom main bar is equal to clear span plus 2 bearing width, width at the ends minus 2 end cover that is uh, 25 mm each plus 2 L bend length of which L bend is 15 centimeter or 0.15 meter as shown. So it is equal to 4 plus 2 times 0.23 minus 2 times 0 0.025 plus 2 times 0.15 total length of uh, bottom end bar becomes 4.71 meters length of bottom extra bar that is to take uh, the positive bending moment that is equal to 3 meter length of top anchor bars anchor bars provided to tie the stirrups also they take the negative bending moment which is equal to 4.71 meter because its length is same as the bottom main bar which is already calculated then length of top extra bar as shown in the sketch it is equal to straight length plus L bend so extra bars are there at, at both ends of the beam so that is equal to 1.5 plus 0.15 is equal to 1.65 meter now look at the ties the tie has been drawn uh, in the uh, table which has uh, dimensions A and B A is the horizontal width of the tie and B is the vertical height of the tie what is A? A is equal to 0.23 that is width of B minus 2 end covers 0 0.0 to 5, 0 0.0 to 5 meters which becomes A is equal to 0.18 meter and B is equal to the depth of the B minus top and bottom cover that is 0.45 minus 0 0.0 to 5 minus 0 0.0 to 5 is equal to 0.4 so length of tie L is equal to 2 times A and B because it is a rectangle, 2 times A plus B plus 24 diameter of tie, 2 times 0.18 plus 0.4 plus 24 times the 8 mm diameter. That is equal to 1.352 meter and the number of ties is equal to straight uh, length of the main bar at the bottom divided by the spacing of ties plus 1, plus 1 is for end tie, total number of ties becomes 26. Note that the length of tie in column and length of stirrup in beams or lintels is calculated by the same method. Length of force straight part of the stirrup after the hook is equal to 8 times the diameter and there are two such hooks. Extra length of bar at four corners of the stirrup. Note that each stirrup has four corners and extra length of bars at four corners of the stirrup is equal to two 
times d plus 2 times d plus 2 times d plus 2 times d that is equal to 8 times diameter so it is at the rate of 2 times diameter for each corner so external total external becomes uh, 8 times diameter for the bends at the corners hence the term 24 diam times diameter bar which is the total of 8 dia plus 8 dia plus 8 dia number of ties is obtained by dividing straight outer to outer length of the main bar by the spacing of stirrups as i said earlier spacing of stirrups is equal to 180 mm plus one is added to account for the end stirrups totally 26 stirrups are required for the given beam next schedule of bars there are five types of bars namely bottom main bar bottom extra bar top anchor bar top extra bar and the stirrups diameter of these bars are obtained from the sketch or which is mentioned in the problem statement length and numbers are obtained from the previous table each diameter has its own weight per meter for example uh, as i mentioned for the column calculations the weight per meter of 16 mm diameter bar is equal to 1.58 kg per meter the last column the total weight is equal to product of total length into weight per meter total weight of individual bar category is done add 5 percent for wastage occurs during cutting and fabrication to the given detailing and thus the grand total is calculated quantity calculation it has uh, two items rcc work and the quantity of steel reinforcement rcc quantity for the beam is the product of total length of beam multiplied by the cross-sectional dimensions that is l into b into d length into breadth in depth is equal to quantity is equal to 0.46 meter cube steel quantity is copied from the table of schedule of bars next is abstract estimate quantities of beam concrete and steel reinforcement are copied here which are multiplied by the respective rates to get the amount which is then totaled this total is added to 3 percent contingencies and 2 percent work charge establishment and grand total is found out which works out to be rupees 9831 only this and the problem dear students raise your queries if any through whatsapp thanks and uh, regards goodbye